Stephanie Marco, thank you for joining us today on WGC for our fifth day of our weight loss challenge using these beautiful sets of Kundalini Yoga by Yogi Bhajan to move our way through our optimal body love. So we're going to do this fifth portion. You can combine them with any of the others that you've seen or you can do this on its own every day. This particular one is really great for digestion, evacuating the bowels if you're feeling any kind of blockages in your digestion. This uh, particular series is really targeted towards that portion of our weight loss goal. Um, and when I think about weight loss, I'm really talking about, you know, really your optimal weight, whatever is right and healthy for your body. So if you're already at your optimal weight, these series are really good for strengthening the inner tissues of the body, helping with targeted issues like elimination, which we'll be targeting today, um, and just moving slowly through the body and gently with more love. When we love our bodies, our bodies really listen to that and will come back and give us the results we want quite naturally. So let's tune in with Ong Namo, Guru Dev Namo, as we do with every Kundalini Yoga class. Bringing ourselves into a comfortable seated position. The spine is straight. Our sit bones are grounded into the floor beneath us. Our chest is wide, the shoulders are up and back. The chin is slightly tucked in, tongue to the upper palate. Let's go ahead and rub the hands together to generate some nice energy flow. Bringing the thumbs to the heart center, firmly at the sternum. Inhaling through the nose, expanding the belly with air. Exhaling. And inhaling to tune in. Oh, Namo. Suspend the breath, really feeling yourself beginning to expand, creating the sacred space around yourself and within yourself. And exhale. And release. So we're going to slowly move into crow pose. And crow pose is slightly different in kundalini yoga than in other practices so I'll just show you we're going to squat with our feet on the ground so the feet are nice and flat on the ground about shoulder width apart legs are open and we're just going to be kind of in this position and in these for this exercise we're going to put our hands in front of us or if you're with a partner you can hold hands or if you're with two people, you can go into a nice triangle and do this together. So up to you, how you like. Um, it can be in a circle. And this pose is really great if you're suffering with hemorrhoids, 
if you're suffering with any elimination issues. It's going to really help. So we're going to get in this crouching position to strengthen the muscles of our bowel system. And we're going to hold hands or put the hands in front of you if you're alone and just come up and back down. We're going to do this 26 times. So let's go. One. And up. Two. And up. Three. And up. Four. And up. Five. And up. Six. Seven. Exhaling up. Eight. Inhaling down. Exhaling up. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Halfway there. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. 19, 20, connecting to your breath, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. Coming up and relax. Just let the energy circulate. You can move your back a little bit. Shake anything out that came up. Just let yourself feel the moving the energy. Now we're going to come sitting with our legs in front of us. And we're going to reach forward and grab the toes or wherever you're comfortable. Don't Force yourself, don't compete, but keeping the legs straight as far as you can go. And then we're going to release the toes and lean back 60 degrees. So it's like we're rowing a boat. Inhaling, touching the toes, exhaling, leaning back 60 degrees. And we're going to do this for three minutes. Really get into your rhythm. The forward movement and the breath combination here is really going to help your digestion. This is a very nice quick exercise to do in the morning. It's a really easy series if you're feeling any kind of block in your bowel movements. And you can repeat these exercises 
as you need. Really deepening the breath. Inhale and exhale. Inhale forward and exhale. Thirty more seconds. Don't give up. We're almost there. Inhale, come holding. And exhale, come completely lying on your back. Arms are wide and legs are wide, laying in Shavasana. You can repeat the first two exercises another few times if you wish and then come into relaxation. And we're just going to allow our bodies to surrender. Really feeling your whole self and sensing yourself just melting like butter onto the surface beneath you. Letting your head relax letting go of any tension, letting go of any ideas, letting go of the conscious mind. There's nothing to do now. Just tuning in to our intuitive selves and letting go. Sensing our feet relaxing. Our legs and knees melting now. Letting go of our thighs, our buttocks. Just relax. Our hips and bellies loose and limber and melting. Our hearts and our chest completely letting go into our sacred space. our shoulders, arms. Melting. 
Our hands are relaxed. Sensing our throat, our throat letting go. Sensing our face, relaxing. Relaxing your whole self. Allowing yourself to let go. Thank you for bringing yourself a bit of self-love today. Please join us again on WGC. I'm Stephanie Marco from thattantralife.com. We look forward to seeing you next time.